Hi, I'm Fabian with Sunbelt Transmission, so thanks for stopping by today. We produce all these videos for you guys to teach as much as we can about transmissions, so if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe, push the button below, and here's your video. Thanks for stopping by today. From the Sunbelt Transmissions. Today we're going to show you how to disassemble the variators on a JFO11E transmission. So if you want to come in, I'll show you a couple tools you're going to need today. Um, we're going to have in our, our PosiLock tool, the JT1. Also, we have a uh, puller that we purchased as well. Um, we have a 54 inch or 54 millimeter socket. We have a 40 millimeter socket. We have a one inch. It's a little pivot bolt we have. We use this from another barrier. It's just a, a shield that we use to protect with. We got a hammer, a couple pry bars, an adjustable wrench, a pick. And these are the tools we'll be using today to take these variators apart. At this point, I want to go ahead and bring in my tech, Renee. How you doing today, Renee? Hey, hi. Okay, so Renee's going to help us and assist. He does this every day. Uh, the wealth, the knowledge that he has is, is abundant. So let's go ahead and do the primary first. Go ahead, Renee. Let's, we'll start first move here. Now, on the JF-15E, uh, when you go to remove the nut, okay, it's a reverse thread nut. On this, it's normal, so it's counterclockwise. Let's go ahead and remove it. Now this is under pressure, it's not going to come off just yet, so we still have to pull, use the puller to remove these. We have a little pivot bolt that we use so we don't mess up the threads. Got to put that in there. So we're going to remove the gear and the bearing first. We're going to go ahead and set that up. Make sure you want to tighten it down good. Use a wrench to hold this nut to the slide. Okay. Okay. Popped off right at the end there. Uh, here's our gear again. It's a, the ratio gear want to make sure you put it on the same way you took it off You can see that you can maybe mix it up, but this is the way it goes. So make a mental note Here we got the bearing as well, and there's a little thrush washer there as well. We'll put that on there Look at the bearing itself. We could spin it oh, That bearing's bad. Okay, we would definitely replace that bearing you can hear it. Okay, so that's one we're gonna be replacing Now we're gonna go ahead and disassemble the rest of it. We have to remove this cover. Okay, there's a snap ring right there. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, remove it. Okay. There you go. So this is a little, little protective cover, okay. Um, we have a, another one here. Go ahead, Renee. Now what he does is he puts this protective cover on so he doesn't ruin the pulley. 
So, you know, we get this, we have, we got this from another uh, variator from another CVT, but he's figured out that it's the best way to do it to protect this piece. Okay, let's go ahead and put the Posilac on there. Squeeze it together for them. It's a little bulky. There you go. I'm going to try to center as best as you can. And lock it down. Okay, you want to you want to leave the nut on there, okay? Because there's a 400 pound spring here, so you want to be safe. If the spring were to pop at least the nut would hold it in place. So please, leave the nut on there. Yeah, he's trying to get it straight. The lips right you're, you're straight here okay got your nut in place for safety keep, keep your hands up. see what he did he put this on there just to put just to keep it as a protective shield okay that was a lot of pressure 400 pounds and remove it. All right, now we can now we see the inside. Go ahead and take it apart. And here's our piston. And you can see the ring was off of it. What you want to make sure is that the ring's in good shape, that it seals correctly, that it meets correctly. This looks okay. I don't see no damage. What you're looking here too is you're looking for damage on the edge. Make sure it's not smushed or or uh, or damaged in any way. This looks pretty good. Let's put that up there. And then we got our spring, 400 pounds. And I want to show you this guide right here. Here's what the ball bearings would be on this unit. Okay, this is really important because after a while the ball bearings go square and the variator will start jumping because it, ne it needs to have the bearings replaced. Hi, this is Fabian again. I hope you liked our video and please don't forget to subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more videos I'll make. Thank you again. Have a great day.